It was Monday on November 2nd of 2020, and trains were in and out of the yard on the Flint and Holy subdivision. At around 2 p.m., a CN train loaded with many different things left the yard. Its engines were CN2441 leading, GT5813, CN5401, and CN5402 on the back of the train. It was carrying all sorts of cargo from grain to metal and even chlorine gas. It exited the yard and headed south at around 25 miles per hour. At the same time, a Great Lakes Central power move headed north to the yard. Its engines were Great Lakes Central 39.7 and 39.8. They were going about 40 miles per hour. The CN train passed the diamond at about 2.07 p.m. It should have gone into the siding to let the other train pass, but the switch was not set correctly, and the train sped past the switch and kept going. The engineers on board didn't even notice that they were going straight into the other train until the last second. They slammed on the emergency brakes, and so did the other train. The crew of both trains bailed, and then... Both trains collided at about 2.10 p.m. The CN train was going about 20 miles per hour, and the GLC train was going about 25 miles per hour. Surprisingly, 36 cars on the CN train derailed, but only the GT locomotive derailed. It cost around $300,000 to rerail and fix the train. All engines were put back into service and run to this day. No one was hurt except for one of the crew that, when bailing out, cut his leg on some rocks. A few of the crew members and the person who did not flip the switch were fired. Overall, this was not that bad of a wreck, and hopefully there won't be another wreck worse than this in the future.